Hi everyone. Welcome to McCarter's new Fireside Chats. I'm Sarah Rasmussen. I'm the new artistic director here at McCarter on the beautiful campus of Princeton University. I'm here by our fire pit on a gorgeous sunny day uh, with some wonderful beverages from Jam and Crepe, some small world coffee with our guest today, Lou Gantwick. Lou is a longtime um, student of McCarter's education programs. He yep. also has been uh, in Christmas Carol as an actor and has worked backstage. He's a member of the Princeton community and we're so glad to have you with us today. So, so cheers. cheers, socially distant cheers. Yeah, it's great um, to be back at McCarter. Good, good. Well, I'm so curious. Tell us more about this passion for education and how, what, what got you involved with McCarter and what's kept you involved all these years? As, as an undergraduate a hundred years ago, I majored in psychology, but I, um, my second major was in theater. And so I've always been sort of interested in, in, in theater as a, an, an art form. And so it's just been part of my, part of my life. And, um, when we moved to Princeton in, I guess it was around 1970, there was a um, local impresario, a guy named Milt Lyon, uh, after whom a, a dressing room is named here, actually downstairs in McCarter, who did a um, local musical. It was always a Broadway musical with um, only local talent. And he did it here at McCarter, and um, he filled up the Matthews Theater for a couple of weekends in a row. And it was, it was sort of such an exciting invitation into the theater at, you know, at, at, at a level that sort of was fun for me and that I could do. And McCarter was, was so welcoming. They were so welcoming to local talent. You know, and all these professionals around and the people that worked backstage and sort of knew that we didn't know you know, a scrim from, from a, a curtain, and it didn't matter. They mm -hmm. just sort of taught us and, and helped us do this production. And um, so McCarter became a, a place that I felt, even as an, an outsider and as, as a community member, very much invited uh, by mm -hmm. McCarter to, to be part of it. And so subsequently, there were a number of things I've, I've done, which, you know, we could talk about, but uh, more recently, with especially during this pandemic, the courses that have been offered, I mean, it's like a, a mini college. Mm -hmm. If you look on the website, there's just so much to do. So I've taken a number of courses with, with Paula, both in terms of uh, dramaturgy, but also in terms of solo uh, production. She gave a course that, that was just wonderful uh, for us. And, and so... It's just been, um, theater has been sort of a central part of the way I sort of feel grounded in the world. And McCarter, you know, is, is, it's in my neighborhood. And mm. it's, it's just allowed me to uh, entertain that and to, and to just feel so welcome um, by everybody I've been in contact with. That's wonderful. Yes, the online education programs are it's great, fantastic, and I think we'll we'll keep some of that even when we can be back together mm -hmm. in person because it's it's such great access for people anywhere to to join us for a class. Yeah, and that that's exciting too because people from further away, you know, just mm -hmm. don't live here, are joining um, our talk. One of the classes we had in in um, I guess it was in July, maybe uh, there were folks who were away in Maine and in. I, wherever, but but they were right here, uh, you know, feeling like it was McCarter because Paula was teaching us. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it was great. It was so great. I I just learned too that you worked backstage on a couple of productions. I did. So that was great. I worked on three productions, and the last one I worked on was with Adam Imovar when he directed Sleuth. Yes. And the last time I was in this building was on March 12th, with the last yeah. dress rehearsal. It was the only production that we did that um, you know well we, we had a couple of previews but well that was the night before opening night yes and uh, so I mean that's really you know sort of in my heart as absolutely uh, it's just a, a, a sad ending to just a wonderful experience it I, was, I just it love it was surreal every to it. just have to pause like that it was it, it was, was crazy very surreal it was it was crazy if you could if theater could come back today what would you want to see tonight 
what would you be really excited about? Oh my God! It, anything that you know Carter did, you, you know, I, I would be here. We have a subscription, so I would be allowed to come. You know, I could change my night. <laughs> so I would come to to see anything you guys put on. <laughs> I'd just great. be so happy to sitting in a seat. Well, as we plan for coming back once it's safe to do so, I, I love that McCarter has been such a home to you. What do you hope for arts organizations like McCarter when we come back? What do you want to see? The world will feel a little different. What, it will. What do, you, what do you think audiences will need? Yeah, I, that's an interesting question. I, I don't know what they'll need. What I hope happens, though, is that there's a, um, sort of an awareness and, and a sensitivity to what we've been through mm. this last year. Not, and not just COVID, although that's part of it in terms of the isolation, alienation, separation that, you know, that I think many of us have felt just as human beings. But, but then the world in terms of, um, especially the United States, in terms of its uh, social ills and issues around racism and institutional, you know, racism and white privilege and all of this stuff. Um, so I would hope that, you know, there would be some reflection of that in, in the choices that you guys made in terms of the whatever, whether it's a, you know, play, which would be my first choice, um, or whether it's a, a, a group that you invite that's, mm -hmm. that's a, a musical group or whatever, that, 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 that the, there'd be an increased sensitivity to, to the times and, mm -hmm. and that be reflected in at least some of the choices that you folks make about how theater has changed and, 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 and how it could reflect and, and help us sort of, you know, manage our re-entry in, into the world. Um, well, this was great, Lou. Our whole idea with these fireside chats is to spark conversation with people and hear their ideas. And before I, before I let you go and try this delicious treat from, <laughs> which I hear is a 20-layer a uh, pumpkin treat from Jam and Grapes, uh, I, I would, I'm new to the community, and this is, a, this is a lovely way to get to meet people socially distant. And uh, I, I'd love to just hear from you, what are a couple of things that my family and I need to know about? F favorite places to eat, favorite places to be socially distant outside, favorite places once we don't have to be socially distant yeah. anymore? Yeah, well, so um, you've probably discovered the towpath, right, along yes. the canal. Yeah. That's just like such a treat. Um, to be able just to walk there, it's so gorgeous it's and beautiful and free. And, yeah. You know, and it's so we um, we still take advantage of that. Um, yeah, you know, it's a small town, and and so um, you know uh, all the coffee shops that are around are just great. They yeah. um, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to eat in any of the local restaurants, but there are, you know, there are some wonderful restaurants up and down Nassau Street that that um, that that we like. Um, it has such a vibrant feel. It's it's such yeah, a well, they, you know, town. they put up all these uh, barriers now, yes. so that it, it's so funny walking down Witherspoon Street. You know, it. it, it um, it used to be. It's a, it used to be a two-way street. You know, I don't know if you were. Now hear. it's sort of a footpath. Well, the, whatever it is, yeah. they've yeah. turned it into something sort of magical. Yeah. Thanks. Well, thanks for being our guest at our, our, our fireside today on a on a warm day. I realize I'm drinking iced coffee by a I, by a fire, which <laughs> is. <a> little, a, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure this will be even more uh, cozy as we as we head into fall. But thank you so much for your time, Lou. So it's much really for, lovely to meet you. Thank you for asking me, and I wish yes. you the best. Thank you. Cheers. You're welcome.